One key decision facing any society is the proper balance of public and private transport. Historically, public transport was often thought of as a method for providing a base level of service across a region, particularly for the very poor. It was also seen as a way of ensuring some level of social equity and environmental outcomes. Much of the debate around public transport has often been on how to get this funded, and this way of thinking has tended to create a false sense of competition between drivers and transit riders. Uh, as a result of the, the rising complexity of our transport networks and advances in technology, we understand now that even drivers may be heavy transit users if they're given a competitive option. Further, we understand as a result of research that traffic congestion is a highly nonlinear phenomena. Every car on the road causes more delay on average than the car before. So even if we can pull off a few percentage of those road trips into transit, it's a benefit for all drivers, even if they don't use the system. And finally, as a result of the convergence of new technology and new business models, we have the opportunity to fundamentally change the concept of car ownership, which has monumental potential in changing the way we think about and manage all of our transport networks.